Hello, in this tutorial I will be showing you what is Erlang, where to find documentation about this programming language, how to install Erlang, how to use Erlang Shell, how to write simple Hello World application in Erlang, and how to run application from Erlang Shell as well as OS Shell. So, let's start! What is Erlang? Erlang is a functional programming language used for building massively scalable soft real-time systems. It has some very nice properties uh, for building such systems, which we'll be discussing over the course of this tutorial. Where to find documentation? So, to go uh, to find the quick, quick start uh, guide, go to erlang.org, doc, getting started, userguide.html To go to the documentation page, go to erlang.org slash docs. It has some very nice resources and books recommendations. How to install Erlang? To install Erlang, go to, go to erlang.org slash downloads. There are installation guides for Windows, Linux, and macOS. Now, how to use Erlang Shell? Basically, Erlang Shell is the program which runs in the interactive mode. You type in your Erlang expression, and then it will evaluate this expression and show you the result of the evaluation. Now, let's, let's try it. I will switch to Erlang Show. I will type Erl to run Erlang Show. And after typing it, you see the, the prompt and the counter of the instructions. To execute my first instruction, I will just type, for example, 2 plus 2 and the dot. To, dot is to tell Erlang that this is the end of the expression. And I will press enter. Okay, the, as you can see, the result of this evaluation uh, is, is now presented by Erlang. Now I can also type some other values, maybe some very long uh, numbers. Also, yeah, calculated. And now I can maybe try to de declare the variable. My variable. equals 10. To the, the variables, I always start with the uppercase. And, okay, let's type dot and enter. Uh, my variable is now uh, declared. I will define the second variable, my, my variable 2, 20. Now, Erlang is functional programming language. Let's see what will happen if I try to reassign value to the variable, for example, something which would be normal in um, imperative languages like C, C++, Python, Java. Here, uh, you, you, let's see what will be the, the result. It gives the exception. So no match of right hand side value 11. So it could be quite confusing for people who didn't use uh, functional languages. In this case, it's not an uh, assignment operator, like in the imperative languages, it is the pattern matching operator. So here you basically, in this expression, you say, okay, my variable 1 equals 11. It's of course not true, because... Okay. because my variable was equal to 1. And uh, in this case, uh, it's not true to say that it's 11. To declare uh, some different var variable, I will type my variable 3. Mm, and, uh, the variable is declared. OK, let's see now. Uh, how to write simple hello world application in Erlang. So this is about the 
the shell. Let's switch, now stop it by typing halt. <coughs> and let's now try to write, run, uh, write some uh, Erlang application. I will write simple hello Erl module. I will declare the module name with, with the name hello. I will export one function. So I, I basically want to say that I want this function to be available to other modules and uh, in I want to access it from Erlang shell. Now the name of the function is start and it takes zero arguments. To define this my, st my start function, I type start and I can type something like hello world and the new line. Now I will save and let's try to uh, run this uh, module. First we will run it from the Erlang shell. To run it from Erlang shell I will type Erl to run the shell. It's important to run it in exactly the same directory. So the working directory is the same directory in which I defined the module, hello, so that it is available. Let's type Erl. And now I want to compile my module. I will type C hello. I got the result OK hello, so the, everything is fine. Let's see what will happen if I try to compile some module which does not exist. In my case, hello one doesn't exist. I got error uh, non existing. So we can experiment how Erlang will behave in different situations. Now, Let's uh, invoke the module. Uh, let's evaluate the, the function. I will type hello uh, module name first and then start. And the evaluation is su successful. I got the OK and the hello world it was printed. Now I will stop this uh, Erlang session and I will try to compile this module from uh, shell. And also I will try to run it from shell. So to compile it, I will, I will type, first of all, here I, uh, I have my Erl uh, hello Erlang. I will, I will compile my module Erl. And we have the hello beam. The hello beam was refreshed. And uh, this hello beam uh, is a compiled version of this file. And now I can run it by typing Erl no shell minus s hello start minus s init stop. So basically, hello is the name of the module and the start is the name of the function. And I will press enter. And I got the result of this uh, execution. So this is it. Thanks for watching.